Hmm. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep, not to simply leave it lying around in case somebody decides to stuff it in an artifact and use it. Yes, I know my soul will be released after it is used, but frankly, I've put in enough time on this earth. And if I die before my wake, I pray the Lord my PDA to break, because I don't need anybody reading some of the things I have written on there. Some of the things about my boss, who is quite an attractive woman, and speaks so authoritatively when she chastises me for stealing soda and stealing chairs and... No, oh, shoot, hold on. Let me translate this rock. And this concludes another chapter of The Prayers of Dr. Cloud by Dr. Kelly. Perhaps we'll continue that next stream. Welcome to another late night Doom 3 stream here at twitch.tv slash purblindgamer. And welcome in, Yak. And welcome in, Stock. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> you think we should call Dr. Betruger Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of sweet. For all we know, Dr. Cloud's still alive at this point. Ain't exactly a lot of people who can say that about. <clears throat> Mm. But I hope everybody is doing well, and their week is going decently. Mine's going... Eh, alright. Still tired after yesterday. And work is strange, as always. Huh. Oh, right! That guy who got was in the air vent ended up screaming into his PTA. <laughs> yeah. Dramatic audio log sometimes. <laughs> hmm. So, it's late, and, and there's probably stuff I should be doing even now, but I'm streaming because I like streaming. And I know I said we were going to try and finish Carol Reed and Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil, but since it is so late, I don't think we have more than, like, a half hour of Carol Reed, Hope Springs Eternal, and an hour of Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil, but I have been known to overestimate my gaming skills, so I think to be safe, we'll just say I'll definitely finish Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil tonight, and, you know, maybe save Carol Reed, Hope Springs Eternal for another time. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And, yeah. It's only, you know, the hell level, and, you know, I can only assume a final boss, and I think I have a sneaking suspicion who exactly that final boss is. I've had a sneaking suspicion of that ever since I first finished Doom 3 many years ago. <laughs> so, that's the plan for tonight. Just good old straightforward demon-killing fun. Oh, you're planning an Indian-style dinner. Nice. That sounds good, Yak. Indian food is quite good. And, oh, and thank you to everybody who came out for my last couple of streams. On Monday, we did a bonus stream reading more of Crater's Gold as an audiobook. On Sunday, we played... Oh, right, we played Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. And on Saturday, we played... Toxic Tomb and Sub Dread, which were two quite different horror games for Short Horror Saturday. Yeah, sometimes demons need a good killing. And. Oh, yeah, I did have a thought, which was I have several ideas for what I could play next on. Uh, starting on Sunday, and I think I'll put up a poll on Twitter and let. My fans decide. I have three things in mind. Shit, one of them I gotta confirm. I can actually get working on this PC. So, actually, let me add that in my uh, on screen title.
There we go. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> now then. I never had out where to put the bloody camera. And now, the grand finale of. Let me change that title. <laughs> Forgot about that. People come in here and be like, um, this is like no Carol Reed game I've ever seen. <laughs> and now, watch me hoard my ammo right up to the very end and end the game with dozens of rounds for every gun, which I will never use. Uh, the inevitability of life. I'm gonna miss this uh, logo. This one's all right too. Even if it looks like uh, peas and spaghetti in. I don't, I don't know what. Uh, very watery jasmine tea with a dash of chicken broth. But I digress. Does it seem quieter than usual? Let me know if I need to turn it up. Let's see if we find any more arcade machines this tonight. Two hundred and thirty three shotgun rounds. I think we're doing okay. Okay. These two souls back here. I hear something. Oh. Hello there. It's the cack pack. Forty guns. This is promising. Sometimes they take stock of everything they have at this point. <laughs> ah, delicious demons, ready to begin. They got 92 rockets? How'd that happen? Damn. Uh, I need to conserve ammo. Whoa. Those little wasp babies and chuck them. Hey, big fatty plus. How are you? I'm alright, thanks. How's your night going? Speaking of wasp babies. Yes. And real quick. fly babies for the win. Yeah, maybe they're just flies. They haven't tried to sting us. You guys, please go check out Big Fatty Plus. I've been thinking, 
I kind of thought they were wasps when I first played Doom 3. And then, of course, in Doom 64, we ran into Wasp Mama and Auntie Hornet. So, not wasps on the brain. To be fair, they're practically demonic creatures anyway. Ooh, you watch videos about the making of Doom 3? There's still one more body there. It was cool, there. Like online documentaries about it. Skeletons have no souls. New rock. Oh, so the babies. You said they're like unholy cherubs. <laughs> they're actually inspired by flies and maggots. And their design is based on them. That's cool. Well, we're gonna try and get all the monsters in here since this is the very end. Long little spiders. Kill it with fire when you can kill it with grabber. Oop, oop. I see souls who are lost and need to be found. Find them with my bullets. features and behind the scenes stuff. That's cool. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Oop, that was the last scene of War. I'm getting sick of that, guys. I wish more games did that came with behind the scenes stuff. It's cool that that... What was that zombie cinematic platformer I played? That came with some of that stuff. They will come to me later. I love these like soul things twisting up into the sky. It looks like a giant skull. Tell me I'm not making that up. With a third eyeball. <laughs> because demons. Uh, demons. So I can actually pull that off and kill one. Hmm. Who is it? What was it you were playing last, Big Fatty? I saw it. I think I was in your stream yesterday. RPG Maker game, that's right. I hadn't heard of that one before. Oops. Damn. Oh, that was just an imp, I think. Cherubs. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Oh, 
don't mind if I do. Probably won't be able to come back here. It's a BFG ammo. Ah, there we are. Do you prefer this on Xbox or PC, Yak? Oh, she's there, big fatty. exactly clever but not exactly an exaggeration Oop. shoot I'm almost down to 200 shotgun shells oh shit thank you and a bear I know okay fuck this it's artifact time human corpses here. They gotta give us some later though. <laughs> we know which noise. Oh, the mancubus noise. <laughs> yeah. The mancubus has a distinctive voice. Wait, I just saw a human corpse. Nope. There he is, waddling amidst the... the man. Spines, whatever these things are. versus Nancy. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? We've got him. Shit. And how was your... Was it Sherlock Holmes stream tonight? I was lurking there for a little bit. I think your camera was on the fritz. You guys, please go check out Nancy versus Nancy, who plays a lot of adventure games. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes meets Cthulhu. Or... Perhaps that's an oversimplification. Now, oh, welcome back, Big Fatty Plus. We're just inundated with barons and mancubi up in here. Story of my life. It may have stopped teleporting in there. Cthulhu and Sherlock team up. I never would have guessed it. Solving mysteries. Okay. Hmm. 
I mean, I think there's only two barons left, but I wouldn't put it past the game to throw us another wave. Bloody well called it. Teach me to use up all my corpses. Pretty well, thanks, Nancy. We're on the last level of the expansion pack. Things are heating up because we're in hell. But the good thing is, I'm not exactly low on rockets and shotgun shells. Of course, the forces of hell aren't exactly low on games and other things. Really? Yeah. Unless they're using the shotgun to pick off the little guys here. <laughs> just try and kill a set number and then retreat. Go back to rockets. No, no.
explored over here. Not that there's much. Sadly, the very human torsos do not have souls. They're just decorative. Slow time, you can really sell, you can see the souls rising up out of the body. So the demons have like different skin colors than they do in, in the on Earth. Cool. I wonder why like, what the explanation in the universe is for that. Surely we'll find more ammo for my guns. No, I think I have plenty of ammo, hopefully. Enough to last me. I figure this is probably like the last gauntlet before the final boss. Anticipate, and I think they like attack faster than they do in Doom 2. They would sink pause in Doom 2. Okay, guys. from the old teams that Dr. Betruger, or Jeff as we sometimes call him, sent through the portal. I think I should be able to wipe out this horde without, you know, safe scumming.
Ocean buddies delivering ammo even in hell. I knew it was worth it. They did distract him. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. I think I can finish the pair with the grabber. I don't know how many he's got to take, but. Oh, it depends on how many he throws. Could use a supercharge about now. Another human corpse there, damn it. Only with twenty one percent health. Oh, wait, it, it teleported us back to the start? And that could actually be good. injury, killing him with his own plasma bomb. Oh, that's a soul that he's just chilling. Don't know what his game was. souls in here. Save because we might not. There's not more health, we end up in a perilous state. At least we have infinite stamina in hell. Maybe we can chuck that around.
Yeah, that's interesting, because I can... Doom, uh, Doom 3 base game was Demon Souls. Fueled the Soul Cube. And here, it's just, it, it's only Human Souls. I think I see health over there, but... Just sort of doing a recce first. See where the stone ends and the lava begins. It's health, yeah. Geez, shades of Aladdin on the Genesis. Something glowing over. death now. Oh, it's like a giant skull with smoking eyes, and those are its horns, see? That's pretty neat. This the best way. <laughs> I don't think it's even worth going over there. Yeah, you know, we've got plasma, and... Until we need another soul, let's say. is the way to go. Got everything. Oh. Shoot, they're just slow. Nice car guns. Shit, what is that? Oh. Man, give us again. Filled with zany action, crazy contraptions. The fun is catching, catching your soul in the snares of hell. Uh, the games we play with children. Jeez, I miss you. Just still alive. It's UAC employers that are in the traps. <laughs> and all of the kids. It's a nightmare. All the children playing the mousetrap game are little betrugers. Such a 
long arms. <laughs> An easy way to find out if your kid's going to be evil. You mean, does he look like Betragon? Or does he play Mousetrap? I guess he would have just like normal old vanilla Betruger. Vanilla Betruger? That sounds like a dessert. until the end that Truger was evil. Well, a few people noticed. were doomed to, I could hold my own. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Liz noticed that Madruga was evil. <laughs> I managed to survive. Smashes through this wall, right? Is it? Is it? Oh, Teresa Chaser. She noticed it too. <laughs> in a. Oh, in N Pro. Because I was in regular Doom 3, was it? I wonder if she's related to John Chaser, who got his own video game, which was set on Mars. turned into the first lost soul you see in Doom 3. Gotcha. Oh, and she and Liz were exchanging emails. Cool. Yeah, I remember Liz was, yeah, the character they were referenced in Doom 3. So I wonder if they were already planning the expansion pack when they were writing and making Doom 3. I mean, well, by the time, you know, they kept the truth alive, I think they were at least thinking of some, some kind. 
Yeah, that first Lost Soul transformation was pretty. I think that was more one of the more intense sequences in Doom Three. Scenery. Oh. So they wrote the novels, like novelizations of Doom 3 when it came out, and they were referencing the artifact. It sounds like, yeah, they were already planning it. favorite from Doom 2. It's like, yeah, you could guess that they would were saving something back for the expansion pack. Don't think anyone anticipated the grabber, though. Yeah. Imagine how much this would change if we had a... You could do wield the gun and the flashlight, like in the remaster. I know some people said that, but. I think the developers said that they had developed the grabber when they were developing Doom 3 and used it in the development. But I, I don't know, what. maybe that was still after Half-Life 2 came out. I don't know. I'll play Half-Life 2 when we get a DRM-free version of it. Still waiting on that, Mr. Newell. affects the gameplay. Black Mesa. <laughs> I haven't played Black Mesa. I probably will at some point. Fun way to kill the cacodemons, like point blank with a double barrel shotgun. It's 
It's so satisfying that you can take him out with one hit then. I didn't even see those xenomorphs, damn it. Swamp boxing it. I wonder if I can get him to jump into the abyss. Shit. I don't even see him. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Probably smell. Ah, he fell off the cliff. Probably does smell off. Get both of them? I think so. I didn't even see them teleport in. They must have just be there lying in wait. I'm so glad when these dead people are here. With all their lovely ammunition. Mm. I fully stopped on chain gun. That is a teleporter. Is there someone further over here? Like, are we going to be back this way or not? Actually, does anybody know, like, will we come back to this area or once we go into that teleporter, is it like a point of no return? I decided we're going to grab the last medicate. to get the BFG ammo. Okay. There's no going back though. That's nice. I just want some safe bit. Sorry I can't take all your souls with me, but I've already got three. Destroy it. Destroy it and give you what's left. I 
I've been waiting this for a long time, Vetragon. Wow. This is a damn sight harder than the Cyber Demon in Doom 3 was. I hope the Indian dinner goes well. Okay. I feel like we can't even mess with him until we kill the souls. Shoot. He's gonna dive bomb us. Oh. This is why you don't run backwards in hell.
this point I'm just trying to find it. You know, I think maybe what I need to do is start on time with the artifact and then see if I can get a clear shot of them. But I don't see any human corpses here. I haven't really explored have I? First, see how many corpses around here we have, if there are any. Okay, that's one. Question. Let me die this time and then we'll ask him. Can't see myself beating him this time. It's random where he comes up. Yeah, we got that one. <laughs> 69 health loops, <laughs> but not for long. Oh shit. What, is the, what are those things? It's like throwing something at me in large quantities. I think they're chunks of flaming rock. Mm. So tell us, what do you think of uh, Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil from a critical perspective, Regent Swag Duck? Uh, 
in the early 2000s? Also, he wasn't that kind of a doctor. And I mean, he's not really a doctor anymore at this point. Um, that could, I mean, that could account for all the dead bodies there. But, but I wouldn't argue that that was Betruger's innate nature. I never heard that theory, and I'm not sure that it holds up either. Um, but do all the PDAs reflect that? Oh. No, I, I hadn't. I mean, I didn't even know there was a dissertation on the origins of the mancubus. I mean, I'm, and I think it's impressive that you read that. But what what do you think of it solely as an expansion pack? That's a fair criticism. Well, thank you, Regent Swag Duck. As always, you've been most illuminating. It's good to speak to somebody who knows their stuff. knocked me off the edge. Hmm. Yeah, no, this isn't a pleasant boss, and it's pretty tough. I feel like they may have been thinking, well, final boss in Doom 3 was entirely too easy, so we gotta step it up a notch. Get out faster, damn it. that it's so dark.
Which I guess, I think this is one time the machine gun would come in handy because the grabber has got to recharge briefly. Again, my aim is not the most precise. Thank you, Nancy. I hope you do dream of nice things. Yeah, nicer things than Dr. Petragon. Yeah, hope you have a good night, Nancy. And you're able to get some rest. And thanks for hanging out. Red eggs. And hopefully by the time you wake up, Doom 3 will all be over. Oh, wait. Okay, we made it to phase two. It's the worst time to lose it, but... Damn it, you flew away. No, you're not allowed to retreat. Only I'm allowed to retreat.
they're doing better that time too. That's a good idea, Stalker. I was gonna think of that like if we're way off to the side here. The meteorites can't hurt me. Well, let's put it to the test. But maybe in the lee of one of those giant horns or whatever they are. stock if you can throw the souls. It's possible, but it seems like I don't know how much damage they're gonna do compared to the time I spend aiming. I think I actually might be safe here. Man, again. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Oh, good question. 
Let's check. I don't know if you can shoot the meteorites. Oh, you mean like grab them? Or just like destroy them? It looks like two rounds of rockets is consistently enough to get him to the meteorites. <laughs> so I should prepare accordingly. Get maybe use a BFG for one of them. I don't think they heal. I think it's only in his first, like, his first phase that he spawns on. was hit that him like in the fire line. Okay. I'm gonna focus only on the meteors. This time I'll try shooting them, maybe with plasma. Yeah, I don't trust myself to hit them with a shotgun when they're close. Speaking of shotguns. Yeah. 
Yeah, not as easy to dodge as it was in Doom 1 and 2, I'll say that for sure.
I mean, right where he's perched. That might work, Stalk. Then he provides a buffer. Oh, then I'm not sure. I know which wall you mean. I'm also trying to figure out, are the meteors approximately aiming at me, or are they just blanketing this little plateau? Redfield is less powerful than Doom Guy?
Good time for some epic boss tunes, but oh, that one of realism. I say as I grab a flaming skull and says a dragon doctor shoots at me. Charging up the BFG makes it more powerful, right? Maybe you do hit him. Yes, I know. Downright on British.
Thanks, Doc. destroyed the dragon and left Petruger's Marine? smoking skull. Marine. He deserved Welcome it. <laughs> That's it. So was that did Dr. Groot Liz say Marine your home at the end? Was id software actually i don't know if they were involved to what degree they were involved in developing this because it said resurrection of evil was by nerve software and i, I guess that's it I'm mistaken. That's everything. <laughs> oh, seriously. Doom 3 BFG edition removes all the arcade machines except for Super Turkey Punch? I wonder why. wonder. Was it too much trouble to recode those? Did they think they were giving the fans what they wanted? Were the fans that bothered by them? I must write them a letter and ask them. Be like, what were you all thinking? Yeah. Let me see if I can't get Mr. Activision or Mr. Id on the phone. Oh, perfect. I was hoping to end my stream by midnight, and it's... Four minutes to midnight. <laughs> so, yes, obviously no Carol Reed tonight. What happened? How can you top that? Finally, the death of Petruger. Pretty spectacular death, too. And the good thing is, now that I have Doom 3 on and Resurrection of Evil on Steam, I can uninstall them and reinstall them whenever I want to play mods or something. Uh, yes. I'm not, however, saying that I like DOS better than you.
And that at long last brings us to the conclusion of our journey through Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil. A journey I began when I first played Doom 3 itself, some, some years ago. Was it ten years ago? Oh, yeah, it's probably it was more than ten years ago, God. <laughs> and we just had a redemption for Examine This Game's Box, which I think is an excellent way to end our journey through Doom 3. Still not better than a, a Doom 3. Oh, you mean the original Doom 3? <laughs> we already showed off the box for the original Doom 3, but... All right, I took the CD-ROMs out. But here's our lovely copy of Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil Expansion Pack. You know, I kind of wonder if that's supposed to be Betragon on the front, but... The Truger's head is inside, so you can't, re inside its mouth, so you can't really see it. Because, you know, they won't want it to be a spoiler for those who haven't played Doom 3 yet. The box is in pretty good condition. <laughs> and, it's got a flap on the front. Check that out. I know, back when PC games had boxes, like real boxes. I think I've even got a game on CD-ROM more recently than 2019, and that's all in <laughs> DVD cases. Yeah, but Dragon couldn't show his true face, because, yeah, it was in his contract. Yeah, SAG regulations or something. <laughs> true evil never dies. Well, it sure looked like it died to me just now. <laughs> Rated M for mature. And let's see what's on the inside. Cardboard reinforcement to keep it, to help keep its shape long term for us collectors. And here we have the CD-ROMs. <laughs> True evil spams lost souls and boulders at you like a coward. Yeah, this one's only one CD. And... The manual. I probably should have read this before I played the game. Oh well. Id. This must be an old copy. The paper is yellowed. And splattered with blood. Does that have a section for notes? Oh, it does. Oh. Doom 3 Merchandise? Um, first time I've ever heard somebody call Return to Castle Wolfenstein Doom 3 Merchandise. And it does have space for us to take notes. Note, the Truger sucks. <laughs> yeah, shoot stuff. In this game, Doom Guy has stamina and gets tired. Was that one of the long... Uh, the bullet points from the back of the box. Resurrection of Evil. Very nice box, is it? Oh yeah, it is. It's. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's embossed. Easier to see when you catch the light. Yeah, you can see the texture more when, you, when it catches the light. There. <laughs> and... 
Yeah, that's all for tonight. I'm glad I finally beat that. <clears throat> no worries, Yak Man. Uh, yeah, you didn't really miss much. The dragon threw some meteors at us. He chomped down on us and swung us around and smashed us into the ground. We picked up the artifact and jammed it into the Truger's gullet, and it uh, destroyed him in a beam of light and left behind a smoking skull. And then Dr. Liz said, Marine, you're home, we think, and then there was some badass rock music, and we showed off the game box. <laughs> yes, Dr. Jeff Betruger. Jeff being short for Malcolm. <laughs> yeah. We delivered his Uber Eats personally. It gives a whole new meaning to, hey, Dr. Betruger, eat your heart out. Eat your heart of fact out. Good. <laughs> uh, uh, good times. I feel a sense of accomplishment, especially since... Wait. After I saved it, like... After phase one, did I actually die again? <laughs> I didn't actually load that last save. So I, I did beat it all in one do go. Good for me. <laughs> oh, he's not. Oh, he left behind his skull, but he survived, right? Because we would think he couldn't survive without a skull, but he's. But he's a demon. He can do what he likes. <laughs> yeah, who's to say that dragons can serve, can't survive without skulls? It is. The squishy head dragons of, I don't know, Northern Europe. <laughs> That's right. He left the Betruger skull. So maybe Betruger is dead, but the dragon is alive. I don't, I don't know exactly how they were joined together. What kind of weird symbiosis was going on there? <laughs> mm -hmm. Fan theories. A dragon. Oh, he just maybe he got rid of Betruger's head because that was where the artifact got stuffed. But Betruger's soul is still fused with the dragon. So Doctor Betragon is still out there in hell somewhere, biding his time, waiting to come back. I mean, there got to be more art heart, or artifacts scattered around to be discovered. <laughs> Demons like artifacts. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's gone midnight. So I should probably wrap up. <laughs> yeah, the theories that'll keep us awake, you know. Are John and Adrian Carmack going to bring Dr. Betragon back someday? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, some crossover uh, with the new Do Doom reboot timeline. <laughs> hmm. So as for... Yeah, they didn't bother to put an extensive ending cutscene like they did in Doom 3, so if he was alive, we would have seen him, you know, making faces and flapping off into the darkness. <laughs> mm, I'm sure these matters are still hotly contested today on forums somewhere. <laughs> Doom 3 reddits. Yeah, like at the end, they were trying to rush, rush it out, and didn't have time for more of an ending sequence. Which we expected there to be one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing that somehow, without the artifact, the marine was transferred back to Mars, unless, unless he was dying and he just hallucinated. Uh, Dr. Liz's voice. I don't know. I'll have to read up on the fan theories about that. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I really should get to bed. <laughs> but, I'll tell you guys what's coming up on stream. On, uh, the plan is on Saturday we're finally going to finish Haunted PS1 Demo Disc 2021. And on Sunday, I actually had the idea. 
I had several games I was thinking of playing, so I was like, why not let the fans decide? So I'm going to put up a Twitter poll tomorrow, and you guys can vote on which game you would like me to play. I've got... Um, the ones I'm thinking of are a gothic point-and-click adventure, um, a weird sort of RPG based on a webcomic, and a text-based thriller from the early 80s. They probably mentioned all their titles before, but I'll let people uh, decide on the mer decide which game based on its their merits rather than their titles. Whichever wins the poll, that's what we'll do on Sunday, assuming I can get them working on this PC. And next Wednesday, we'll finally start Doom the Reboot, which I think is going to be great adrenaline pumping fun. So that's what's coming up in the near future. Now let's find somebody to raid. You better find somebody to raid. What? Who we're gonna raid? <laughs> gonna rip and tear. Yeah, what well, I'm going to rip and tear though. Mm hmm. Oh, Yaden is playing. Quake. Let me know. Is anyone else playing Doom 3? Do I have the energy to meet new people tonight? Oh. No one else is playing Doom 3. Well, that, that settles that quite easily. So we can either go from... <laughs> yeah. Quack by id software. <laughs> I'm trying to decide between going to from a Doom game to a Quake game, and from and uh, going from fighting a dragon to raiding a dragon, both of which have merits. Uh, Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> oh, you like to... I never played Quake 1. I played Quake 2 a little bit, because I got a free copy with a mouse that was $1. I didn't buy it for the mouse. <laughs> oh, he's streaming too. I was thinking of Galara Dragon. There are lots of dragons out there. Yeah, you know, we raided Yaden not that long ago, and I know we've raided Galara more times, because Dragon of the West isn't always streaming this way late, and he's raided us plenty of times. We should say hi to him. So, he's playing oh, Celeste, which I believe is the wife of Queen Babar, or I'm greatly mistaken. We should do raid calls. sci-fi, Lovecraftian darkness, and grungy fantasy. Oh, here, guys. Here's a raid call 
we can all post this when we go into Dragon's chat. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to copy it myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've played the shareware version of Quake 1, really. I have a copy. Someday I'll finish it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we're going to re raid uh, Dragon of the West 412. And... Yeah, thank you everybody for coming to hang out and sticking with me as I work to beat that final boss. <laughs> and I appreciate all the chatters and all the lurkers. And you guys can follow me on Twitter and MySpace, where I post stream announcements and random nonsense and sometimes polls. And the poll will only be on Twitter, so if you want to help choose the game I play on Sunday, you should head on over there. Excuse me. And you can find VODs of my past streams up on YouTube. So I hope that everybody has a good night. Yeah, good night. Thank you, Big Fatty Plus and Yak and Stark and everybody else. I'll see you guys on uh, Sunday? Saturday? Don't let anybody shove any strange hearts down your throat and... Please say hi to Dragon of the West.